gives a hard deadline to start work on the Mount Adams landslide. Joe Webb joins us live with how the ruling could bring relief finally to concerned homeowners. Joe. Well, Rob, it's been nearly two weeks since this hill slid into the backs of two homes here on Baum Street and threatened several others up the hill. It took the city a full week to take any action. It's taken the courts another few days. But today, Hamilton County Common Pleas Judge Tom Heacon gave developers until noon tomorrow, high noon, to come up with a comprehensive stabilization plan and the money to pay for it. It will be two weeks tomorrow since this hillside slipped, trashing two homes. Nothing has been done to stop the slippage despite the city's emergency order demanding Metropolitan Design and Development fix the damage city engineers say Metropolitan caused. We believe the developers are dragging their feet. We don't believe they took the city's orders very seriously and then they didn't take the court's initial orders very seriously. So both sides were back in court today. A battalion of attorneys retired to Judge Tom Heakin's chambers to talk it out. While attorneys argued, engineers worked out solutions on a courtroom bench while property owners waited like they have since May 3rd. After an hour or so, Judge Heakin broke the silence. Court finds that Metropolitan Design and Development LLC and its members have the necessary finances to complete the emergency repairs required by this court's order May 15th, 2017. He gave them until noon Wednesday to have an engineer approved plan, financing in place, contractors on board or face contempt of court. The judge then issued a stern warning to the principles of Metropolitan Design. I will note that there have been some allegations that uh, assets of the defendants were transferred after the landslide. Uh, I hope that's not the case. City attorneys are looking into it. We have reviewed documentation that suggests to us there may have been assets moved uh, following the, uh, the, this event. Uh, at this point, we cannot speak to the intent or the reasons why those assets were moved. Now, the attorney for Metropolitan Design and Development declined the opportunity to speak to us today. We are told it will take somewhere between $300,000 and $500,000 to repair the collapsed portion of the retaining wall and stabilize this hill. Now, the attorney for the residents of 400 Bomb Street, just a couple of doors down from here, says this is a step in the right direction, but of course, We'll know a lot more at noon tomorrow. Reporting live in Mount Adams, I'm Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Rob? I know about, no doubt you'll be there, Joe. Thanks very much. The slide severely damaged two homes on Baum Street and is now threatening several properties at the top of the hill. Since the initial problem, more soil pulled away from homes. That's Oregon Street above. And the city ordered several homeowners to stay off their decks until the slope is stable, which, as Joe said, begins tomorrow.